Hey guys, it's your buddy Rome. I want to do a quick video for you guys this uh, afternoon. As many of you probably already know, I've received the Laser Pecker 5 and a few other accessories, including their air purifier. And I was thinking to myself after doing some testing a couple of months ago uh, with the Laser Pecker 4, one of the uh, tasks that someone kept asking me would this work well for and that's for cleaning coins okay so if you have a coin collection or maybe you're finding old coins wherever they may be and you want to remove some of the impurities off of the coins yes you can use the laser packer 4 the laser packer 5 to do that so let's pop over here real quick i'm going to show you guys exactly how i have everything set up so as you guys can see i have the laser packer 5 right here on the desk i did add a little coaster in here that I'm just kind of using as a platform so that I'll have uh, a way of <clears throat> controlling everything. But most importantly, when you're getting ready to set this up, is going a lot of the work is going to just really be done right here in the um, Laser Pecker Studio Suite. Now, if you don't have that installed on your Mac or PC, it's okay. You can also run this from the phone. Now, I have the laser turned off right now because it's a little bit loud because of the fans and I didn't want it to pick up on the uh, pick up the audio. But what you're going to do here really simply is that you're going to measure whatever it is that you want to engrave or clean the coin as an example. So you will need a caliber. And what you want to do is just measure the size of the coin. So in this situation, this coin is 27 millimeters in diameter. So we're just going to say 28 just to be safe so that we got complete coverage of this stone of this uh, coin. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a, <clears throat> a file here. So we're just going to go into our shapes. We're going to pick our circle and we're going to draw out a circle. Hold down your shift, it'll give you an, a complete circle. And then what we want to do is we want to make that, you know, exactly, we want to make that exactly 28 millimeters. So I'm just going to type in here 28 millimeters, and then we're going to set this to fill. And this is what we're going to use to clean our stone. Now you're going to be using your fiber laser, which is your 1064 nanometer laser. And you're going to set that at 100% power, 1% depth. Um, you can set the frequency at about uh, 26 and then, well, let's say 35 and then just let it run and it should clean the stone. I mean the uh, coin. So that's what we're going to test right now. All right. So we're going to switch back over uh, to this view here. I am going to go ahead and turn the laser on. So you guys probably won't be able to hear me for a while, but I'll come back and give you my input at the end of uh, this process. All right, so I just powered the laser on. You guys probably hear that now. <clears throat> so we're just going to go ahead and quickly connect to the laser. Just like before, we're just going to connect. Now, I do currently have this laser connected using um, cables. So we're going to go down here and take a look at our power settings. So we're going to be using a 1064 nanometer laser. We can set this at 1K. It doesn't have to be that high. And we're going to do 100% <clears throat> power, 1% depth. And you can play with this as needed. And as far as the passes go, we're going to do five passes on this uh, just to see what we get. And then on the frequency, we're just going to bring our frequency up to about 30. We're just going to do 30 for the frequency. OK, so first thing we're going to do is go ahead and hit our preview so we can see where this is falling inside of the laser. So let me take you guys back over there so you guys can see where that's falling. So let's take our coin. And you guys can see pretty much what this coin looks like right now. If 
We're just going to position it like so. I'm also going to focus. All right, it looks like it's in focus. And so that you guys will be able to see this, I am going to leave the shroud cover, I mean, the, uh, the cover off here, and I'm just going to go ahead and run this. Let me find my laser glasses. All right, let's put those on and let's go ahead and run it. All right, that's our five passes. Let's see what the result is. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see that, but in comparison to the back of the coin, you guys can see there's a significant improvement on this coin. So let me show you guys what I'm referring to. So this is the cleaned coin and this is what it looked like before it was clean. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and run it one more time and we're gonna clean this side of the coin. Let's go ahead and hit our preview button again. Okay, it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and start the process. All right, guys, that's our five passes. All right, guys, so I just wanna do a really quick video um, this afternoon showing you guys another practical application that you can use with your Laser Packer 5, your Laser Packer 4 or 3 when it comes to cleaning coins. So if you are a collector, or maybe you have friends that are collecting coins or metals or whatever the case it may be, and they start to age over time, you can use the laser in order to uh, remove some of those impurities from the metal. All right, guys, it's been Rome with Rome Knows Tech, and I will catch you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe. I'm out.